That's the angle we're looking for. Hola, my friends. Welcome to this very random week of food. I like to advocate for intuitive living, intuitive eating, and fueling your unique body the way that feels good to you. Sometimes that means a big old nourish bowl, and sometimes that means chocolate ice cream. So recently I've had a little bit of an obsession with matcha and as you guys know I already have an obsession with hot chocolate so I decided today to combine the two to make a beautiful harmony of both of my obsessions because you know what you can have both and you should have both. So I whisked together my matcha and my cocoa powder, heated up some milk on the stove, added some maple syrup to it, gave it a little frothy froth, put the two together and sipped away. For breakfast today, I decided to take the hard task of cutting a bunch of grapes and golden berries in half. It did take a long time. Was it worth it? Absolutely. But it did take a very, very long time. But I already had chia seed pudding made, so it was a win. Ugh. Why I got be so stick? Oh, come on. Gorilla glue? Just wreck the box. Oh, salted water. Today we are keeping it very simple because for breakfast I had the chia seed pudding that I already made and for lunch we are having pasta sauce, this mac and cheese cashew pasta sauce that I already had made and all I had to do was cook some pasta, throw some spinach in with it, throw some sriracha on top along with some chia, chia seeds, sesame seeds, and enjoy. If you want the cashew sauce recipe, it's in the last week's What I Eat in a Week video. It's freaking delicious, but I made so much that I ended up having to freeze some of it so it didn't go bad. Anyways, for dinner today, we are having some leftover tacos. Again, we are keeping today very, very simple because you know what? We have to eat our leftovers. We can't just let them go to waste. I hate wasting food is one of my pet peeves. It's one of my pet peeves. So we did ourselves, our emotional state, and the world a favor by eating a bunch of leftovers today. I built up my tacos with my leftover lentil mix that was also in last week's What I Eat in a Week video. Some avocado, one sad piece of mango, cilantro, lettuce, pickled red onions, and because it wasn't spicy enough for me, even though I'm dancing right now, it was really, really good. But I have an obsession with spice. So I pulled out my Frank's hot sauce because it has that tanginess, it has that spiciness that I love, and just doused my tacos. So nothing new here. We are enjoying the same drink that we enjoyed yesterday, and I have no regrets. A matcha hot chocolate? Come on. Also, I do want to say that sometimes when I heat milk on the stove in a pot, you guys are like, where's your kettle? I'm like, you don't put milk in a kettle. Like. Like you heat water in a kettle. If I put milk in my kettle, it would make a bigger mess than what I'm making right now. <laughs> For breakfast on this day, I was in the mood to make some tofu scramble, and I haven't made tofu scramble in a really, really long time, so I indulged my urge. Cut up a whole bunch of veggies, added some oil to my pan, threw those veggies into my pan while I threw the onions, jalapenos, and garlic in my pan first to let saute, along with my red peppers, spinach, and of course some fresh herbs. I think I added parsley, even though I really wanted to add cilantro, but I just didn't have any cilantro in the house. And then I crumbled in half of a block of tofu with my hands because I love to cook with my hands, you know, just squish that tofu in between your fingers. It feels good, very uh, childish, it's great. Seasoned it up with some tamari, chili flakes, smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, a little salt, little pepper, and of course some turmeric as well to, you know, give it that eggy color that we all know tofu scramble needs to be. I added that all to my bowl, topped it off with half of an avocado, and then drizzled on the queso dip that I've been obsessed with recently. And of course, some pickled red onions because that's just the way we roll around here. They're absolutely delicious, so easy to make, and so beautiful to put on things. Like if a meal is just looking a little bland, pickled red onions, problem solved. 
So we're getting back into the cooking groove. You know, we're not just eating leftovers anymore. We are evolving and changing and making new things. So I am mincing up a bunch of ginger along with some garlic, sliced up an onion, sliced up half of an apple. Yes, an apple. I say it all the time and I will never stop saying it. Apple adds such a nice natural sweetness to dishes that you just got to try it. So I threw that all into my frying pan with some oil, seasoned it with some chili flakes, some salt. Obviously, it just makes everything taste so much better. <laughs> And of course we need a stir fry sauce. So I'm adding the last little remnants of the peanut butter that has been sitting in my fridge before it goes dry. Added some tamari, some rice vinegar, gave that a really good shake. And once my stir fry was looking really good, nice and sauteed, I threw some rice noodles on and threw some edamame in my stir fry for some protein, you know? Plus edamame beans are just freaking fantastic. <laughs> Once my rice noodles were done, I threw them into my stir fried veggies along with my sauce, mixed that all on up to make this beautiful combination of deliciousness. I'm obsessed with rice noodles. I don't think I'll ever not be obsessed with rice noodles unless I eat them way too often that I just, you know, feel nauseous when I see them. Which has happened to me with some things. Like even if I wasn't a vegan or a vegetarian or anything of that nature, I do not think I could eat a ham sandwich because I ate ham sandwiches every single day for like a year when I was 10. And that's just something I, I'm not gonna change my mind on. Also another reminder, go back for seconds guys. Go back for seconds if you're still hungry. I'm I start listening to his, it just looks mm. Oh, oh no. Oh, the stains. Can you get me a napkin? Me? No, the other person here. Oh, that's spicy. Okay, I'm gonna go find the... I have a little jump. Or no. Oh, I know what I can use. You're gonna what? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten that nut. <laughs> well, that wasn't funny. No, of course not. Good. It's a serious matter. So on this particular night, me and Mitch really wanted to just completely veg out. So I was not going to make myself dinner. Damn it! The reason we wanted to veg out was to binge watch Yellowstone because yes, I am addicted to cowboys. I'm addicted to cowboys. I don't have any... I, I don't have any other explanation. I'm just addicted to cowboys and I'm not sorry about it. The show is great and the sweet, sour, spicy vegetable soup that I got was also great. Besides the fact that it literally stained my skin, which probably isn't a good sign. Turn up your alarm clock. We will need him on a week. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this was the morning I started my period. So... I just really needed something light and nutritious. So I cut up an orange, cut up an apple. I'm gonna have some chocolate cause that's just the right way to start day one of your period, you know? And then I'm gonna make some protein powder and some almond yogurt. Ah! And of course, I'm gonna throw a bunch of hemp seeds on top of this because hemp seeds are literally sent from the heavens and I really, really love them. Along with some almond yogurt because I will kill Mitchell if I eat peanut butter. So no peanut butter in his household. So we watched a bunch of Netflix in the morning, then went to Costco. And then as soon as we got back, we watched more Netflix. I ate the leftovers of my rice noodle soup and munched on some chips and dip. Your farts are running off on me. You're farting? I saw Sama's pictures. So that queso dip that I've been addicted to recently, we found one at Costco. It's not the same brand, but it's basically the same thing. You best bet we had to buy a massive tub of it. And on the theme of queso dip, we had to make some tacos tonight and I decided to try something a little bit new. That's a beautiful avocado, I do gotta say. I want it like crispy, crispy tofu. So I'm gonna bread it and we're gonna see how it goes. So to my flour, I added a little bit of salt, cayenne, and some smoked paprika, even though there was like nothing in that jar, but we, we made it work. I think you're out of smoked paprika. I just gently patted dry my tofu, cut it in half, and then cut it into these nice little squares. I should have cut them like not so like rectangular and a little more like longer rectangular. Like you see the one that I'm rolling 
in the flour right now. I should have cut that in half because it would have definitely gone on my tacos a little bit easier. Anyways, rolled my tofu into the flour like you see and then I dipped it in milk and then I dipped it back into the flour and then I dipped it into breadcrumbs. I really don't think the extra dip in the flour was necessary. So after that one that I did that to, I didn't do that to any other of the ones. <laughs> so I just went flour, milk, bread, 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 bread crumbs. Until we were finished. And then I threw some oil into a hot pan, let that get all hot, and then threw my tofu in there until it was nice and golden brown. And let me tell you. It turned nice and golden brown, which you will see right here. Like, look at that. Look, like, oh my gosh. Why do I not do this more often? It is so easy and so damn delicious. And just for some fun, you know, I had to get all the sides. So. Oh no, Domino's. So I came to the conclusion that I needed some sort of sauce to go on top of my crispy tofu, you know. Bear with me here. Ketchup, Frank's red hot sauce, tamari, a little bit of paprika, and maple syrup. I, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. But all in all, the tacos were literally delicious. And this was one hell of a night, I do gotta say. I have been napping and I'm like moving away from my persona that's eating taco. Oh, it's a new bowl. <laughs> this is like such a struggle. I'm so sorry to everyone that's like watching me like wheel this taco around. Yeah, I am sorry to everyone that was watching me just wheeled my taco around like it wasn't even a taco. That's not how you should eat a taco. You need to move your head to the taco, not move the taco to your head. But I feel like I still haven't learned that lesson when I eat tacos. I still always move the taco even though it's not right. Yeah. Pretty girls from the night school. Who knows what you've been through? Sinking love in your bar stool. So nothing too fancy today. We are keeping it very classic, very easy, and we are cooking up half of a cup of oats along with some protein powder, a cup of water, some milk. Mix that all on up. We're gonna throw it into our bowl, top it off with a banana, some blueberries, some almond yogurt, and of course some hemp seeds. And for some sweetness because the protein powder has absolutely no sweetness and it's kind of bland. I added a little bit of maple syrup. Mm. Maple syrup. It's like my favorite sweetener. It's the only sweetener. I, I literally use it religiously. And like I've said already, we're on the period. We're on the time. So, of course, I had to make a hot chocolate, but with real chocolate this time, because we aren't skipping out on ourselves. We are taking care of ourselves here. We are mixing real chocolate in with milk, and that is self-love. <laughs> Wanna be side by side. Okay, this, bear with me here. This is like a uh, garlic spread that I spread it out on a tortilla and then I just threw some tofu on there, plain. Kind of gross, but hey. Threw some cucumber on there along with some greens, some leftover lettuce and bits and bobs from last night, along with Mitch's homemade pickles, which are absolutely delicious. I'm very proud of him for those. Along with some muffaletta and some mustard because I mustard's fantastic. I was, I don't know what I was inspired by, but I was inspired today to make this dinner anyways. So I diced up an onion and I let that saute for a little while until it started to get translucent. I threw a bunch of spices in with it, like some basil, oregano, thyme, rosemary, chili flakes, all of the good Italian-esque spices. And of course, I had to salt and pepper it as well. And then I rinsed, I rinsed my rice. I spent some time, I, I did this several, several times. Threw my mushrooms into the pan or pot, I should say. Mixed that all on up. It was really difficult to mix that all on up because it was very full. Covered it with a lid for about mm, 
eight minutes or so. Drizzle some balsamic vinegar in with it because balsamic vinegar just adds such a depth and mature flavor to things. I don't know how else to describe it. I seasoned it again, I threw my rice in there, mixed that all on up, threw a lid on there for about three to five minutes, and then I threw the sufficient amount of water that I needed to cook the rice and then some, along with some garlic powder because I realized I didn't add any garlic to this and I felt like it needed that punch of garlic. For some cheesy creaminess, I added some nutritional yeast and some vegan butter. And once the rice was pretty well cooked, I threw some more water into it along with some more salt, some more pepper, some lemon juice to just brighten things up and bring a freshness to it. Threw some more vegan butter in there because it was just, it was just a need of it, you know? Mixed that all on up and then served it. And this was actually really, really fantastic and fairly easy to make. There wasn't a lot of chopping or preparation. And you know what? Not a lot of dishes either. I used the same bowl that I rinsed the rice in to eat out of. And I only used one pot, a knife, and a cutting board that Mitch also used. So we are winning. We are winning. I got the Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit real here on this day. Um, I found out some information that made me very, very sad, anxious, and just not feel like my best self. I started the day with a matcha just to, you know, have that ritual, have that normalcy, and, you know, do something for myself. And the plan today is to go visit my BFF Veronica. So, you know, I had to have some breakfast before embarking on that adventure. I added half of a cup of oats along with a cup of water, some peppers, some turmeric, mixed that all on up, threw that onto the stove until it was nice and cooked, topped it very simply with some almond butter, blueberries, and some hemp seeds. And as I started eating it, I realized how bland it was. So I did drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on this, just off camera, obviously. But yeah nourishing delicious breakfast around lunchtime we ordered some sushi in i just got a vegetable 18 piece little maki roll set i didn't end up finishing the tray right away i did munch on it later but yeah like i said i was just a little sad today and when i'm sad i don't really get all too hungry but the most important thing that you need when you're sad is a little bit of chocolate ice cream or a lot of bit of chocolate ice cream and yeah, I didn't have dinner. I munched on a banana when I got home and that was that, you know? Sometimes when you're sad, anxious, and depressed, you're not really feeling food and that's okay. Sometimes we just have to give ourselves a break. But again, to have a little bit more normalcy, have, a, have some self-care action going on, I made myself a matcha and I went on a long walk on this morning and then I decided to do a little bit of cooking in some sense. So I made some granola because I haven't made granola in a very, very long time. I added a couple cups of oats to my bowl along with a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds, a quarter cup of hemp seeds, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, and then I just crushed up some walnuts in my hands, threw that in there. A few tablespoons worth of tahini, a couple tablespoons worth of almond butter. I am like running out of nut butter and that's why I used two different kinds of nut butter here. So I basically finished both of those jars. Well, actually I did finish both of those jars making this granola. But hey, you know what? We cleared some space in the fridge. I added a quarter cup of maple syrup along with a couple tablespoons worth of coconut oil, mixed that all on up until it was really well combined and then oiled up a baking sheet. I just spread the oil out with my hands. Yes, I still have not got a new baking sheet. I don't have an excuse. I was looking at them and then I got kind of overwhelmed. I didn't know what to buy. And then I just didn't end up buying anything. And like so many people gave me ideas about different ones to buy like go buy this go buy this get this get that and it was just a lot <laughs> so the time being we let it be um so for breakfast i decided to make some sort of granola protein bowl so i added some protein powder into a jar of milk mixed that all on up until it was well combined or at least i thought I did have to get a spoon in there and break up some chunks, but hey, it all worked out in the end. 
I added my granola to my bowl along with my protein, milk, some blueberries, some dried cranberries, and very simple, easy breakfast. However, because I was feeling a little bit off today, it took me like two hours to finish this. Not gonna lie. By the time I finished it, it was gross. But <laughs> as you guys can tell, I have been crying and to be honest like I'm just going through something right now and I'm just feeling extremely anxious and sad today and when I am overwhelmed with those emotions I feel extremely nauseous and food is just super unappealing to me so I just really need the rest of this day to like get my head on straight and like try to collect myself and collect my thoughts and like work through this, <laughs> work through these emotions, but I will update you guys soon about what is going on and all of that fun stuff. But for now, I'm just going to end the video right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to support my channel, just hit that like button and that subscribe button. Truly, that does so much for me. I'm sending everyone so much love and I hope you are doing super, super well. I will see you guys again very, very soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day.